What is going on guys, Snickle here, and today I have another Platinum Trophy video for you guys. Today I'm going to be getting the Platinum Trophy in PGA Tour 2K21 on the PlayStation 4. Now the last trophy that I do have to get is Na 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 or Na 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 Na. I'm not really sure. Na 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 Na. We'll go with that. Um, and it is to sink five putts in a row in the putting practice without mulligans or using place ball. Now, at first, this was a little tricky to get, but you can do infinite reads on the green. So you can just keep guessing and checking and doing that all over again. But anyway, with all that being said, let's get right into this video. I was live streaming this over on Twitch. I do live stream all my Platinum Trophies and various other games over there. So if you want to go follow me, there's a link for that down in the description below. So as you're looking through here for this trophy, what you're going to have to do is you are going to have to sink five of these putts in a row and you're not allowed to use mulligans and you're not allowed to use place ball. Now at first it does seem like a lot, but you can turn on infinite green uh, reads on the green and you can basically just keep doing what I'm doing here, which is moving left and right ever so slightly determining if, you know, this is the right spot or that is the right spot and you can do it on the easiest difficulty as well. Now what the easiest difficulty will do is it'll give you a larger gap for hitting the correct um, percentage, the correct speed. So as you can see there, I did actually hit it way too hard and will go past. So when you are going through here and you are doing these five, you do need to hit it exactly the speed that it's telling you to hit it when you're doing the read, especially when you're doing it from really far away. Now, there may be some reads when you're going through and they're just completely ridiculous. You might be going over a hump or like a hill or something. If that happens, then what you need to do is change the speed that you're hitting it. And hopefully that will help you um, kind of hit through the break that's going on on the green. So anyway, PGA Tour 2K21. This game kind of a little bit came out of nowhere, but not really so. This game is developed by HB Studios. They are the same people that are behind the golf club games, and it is published by 2K Sports or 2K. Now, uh, Golf Club 2019 was actually developed by HB Studios, and it was published by 2K as well. So that kind of started their relationship when it came down to... Um, golf games and I gotta say this game is basically like any other golf club game that you'll play except it's extremely easy I mean when you're playing through the career mode and everything it's just super easy not only can you put the game on whatever difficulty you want to when playing through so you can literally play on the super most easy difficulty um you also you can set the difficulty of the AI and the game has so much forgiveness when it comes to swinging, having to pull the, the stick straight back and put it straight forward. There's only one trophy throughout the game that actually does require some sort of skill. You are going to have to play on, it's like some legacy difficulty or legend difficulty, I think is what it's called. So you will have to play on that difficulty. You'll have to shoot under par on a round so you can play on any course that you want to, but you will have to, uh, shoot under par so as you can see here this is one of those putts that i was telling you about where like you can adjust it all you want to but the break might just not go in the hole so you will have to adjust the speed a little bit to kind of hit through some of those breaks and some of those um, hills and humps and you'll get it right in there and as you're pulling back you can pull back as slow as you want to when you're putting um, to make it as easy as you want to and you can see on the right there that there's so much forgiveness when it comes to pulling it straight back and and pushing it through um, with putting or, or hitting the ball or, or anything. So you are going to have to play fully through like the PGA Tour a minimum of one time to get this Platinum. So that's kind of, uh, I wouldn't say annoying, but that is something that you will have to do because you are going to have to beat all of the rivals. Um, and in order to do that, you are going to have to play all the events in one season and then partial, um, uh, partial the events in the next season to... Uh, beat all the rivals but you can get everything else in the first season so it's really easy and like I said you can play on any difficulty that you want to while playing through the career which makes it even easier so um, I gotta say I am I was surprised by the game I was expecting it to be a little more difficult than it was um, but I like the direction that the game is going compared to uh, when the Golf Club 1 came out to the Golf Club 2 to the Golf Club 2019 to this game. I think that uh, there's some great improvements going on and I'm really looking forward to um, whatever um, HB Studios is going to bring out in the future. 
because I'm sure it's going to be a great game. So this should be the last putt that we have to make here in order to get five putts in a row if I counted correctly. And uh, we're just doing a little bit of reading, but we're reading a little bit wrong because, um, you know, it does happen. I'm pretty sure this is a straight in putt, but I didn't realize it. So I'm, I'm, I'm getting there. We're getting over there. So that one should be it. So we'll take our time here. One more read just to be safe. We'll pull her back, push her forward, and let it sink. So there we go. That'll get us the five, I believe, which will get us a trophy. Na, 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 whatever it is. Na, 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 na. And then we'll get our platinum trophy, Tor Pro. Really, really fun game. Had a lot of fun playing through it. But anyway, let's take a look at this list. So here it is, 100% with the Platinum, no DLC or anything, and I really don't see any DLC coming out for this, as the other Golf Club games didn't have any. As you're looking through here, this is going to be the same exact list that you'll see in, like, Golf Club 2019, with a little things that are easier. Some of the trophies are named the exact same thing, so there wasn't even any creativity there. They just copied and pasted, made some new images, and called it a day. So it's pretty clear, pretty straight to the point. Nothing too difficult, and nothing really sticks out, other than that one trophy that will require you to play on the Legend difficulty or whatever it's called. So that might give you a little headache. Anyway, here's the profile. Trophy level 44, 66%. I've got 11,800 total trophies. Got 8,083 bonds, 2,610 silver, 935 gold, 172 platinums, and like I said, 11,800 total trophies. And here is the platinum trophy itself, Tor Pro. So if you're into golf games, if you're not into golf games, I would highly suggest to pick this game up. Maybe when it's on sale or something, not right now. And give it a try because it is a fun game. It is an easy platinum. And again, there's only that one trophy for playing on the Legend difficulty. I, I can't hit on it enough, but that is the only trophy while playing through the game that's going to give you any sort of kind of headache or any sort of difficulty as you're playing through. So if I had to rate this trophy list out of 10, I'm going to give it a 3 out of 10, maybe even a 2 out of 10. It's really, really not that bad. Time it takes to get the Platinum, you're looking at anywhere between 15 to 20 hours. Really not that much. You're going to have to play through the career mode. I would say actually probably more around 15 hours to get through. Um, I got this done in around two and a half days. Wasn't really playing too much. So I think 15 hours is probably pretty safe when it comes to the time on this. If you aren't very familiar with golf games, it could take you twice the amount of time to just getting used to it and seeing how the game plays. But once you play a few rounds, you kind of see how the game plays, where the ball kind of goes generally when you hit it, because some games are different with how much the ball rolls or how much spin you can get in and things like that sort. So you'll you'll just get used to that as you're playing through. And, and again, if you're not too uh, familiar with golf games, it's going to take you a little bit more time. So two to three out of 10 uh, um, for the difficulty time it takes to get the platinum, probably around 15 hours if you know golf games, um, upwards 20 to 30 if you're not too familiar with golf games anyway i hope you guys did enjoy the video if you did be sure to leave a like down in the description below you'll find links to all types of stuff my twitter my twitch other videos like this my discord server so if you want to go look at any of that stuff or do any of that stuff would greatly appreciate it all of that again is down in the description below let me know down in the comments below if you guys have played the game if you've never heard of it if you're looking forward to getting it anything of that sort i love reading all the comments anyway like i said if you did enjoy the video be sure to leave a like if you've made it this far and you haven't subscribed consider subscribing for more trophy content like this, and I hope to see you all around sometime soon.